he first buried? He was first buried at Southview Cemetery, but unfortunately his tomb was close to the road. And you had these people that had to shoot up his tombstone. The man's dead, you don't, I don't understand it, but Coretta did not want that to happen again and nobody could blame her. So she moved him over here to the King Center. check out some historical <laughs> some historical monuments of such a great historical man who has done so much for America so yeah this will definitely be interesting this is my first time checking out any of this so I'm really excited um, I got a pamphlet right here I will make sure to uh, insert that in the video and yeah
am checking out the Martin Luther King Historical um, Center. So there's a lot of different parts to it. Right now I'm actually passing up the Martin Luther King and Coretta Scott King um, where they were buried. So I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of cool different historical monuments here in Atlanta, Georgia. So yeah, there's actually a lot going on here today. So stay tuned with me y'all. There's a lot to see. I'm gonna try to get as much as I can. But yeah, this is actually really beautiful. So glad that I was able to come out here today. So definitely stay tuned. Oh, is there a line to get in? No, 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 we're just being here. Okay. symbolized him to the T, helping out the oppressed. And so uh, the funeral procession went down to Spelman College, to the uh, chapel down there, um, the chapel at Morehouse, I think was under construction at that time. So that's where his second funeral was. And uh, of course, unfortunately in 1974 then, uh, where that uh, organ is up here along the side, <gasps> oh my god. Can you please walk us to where the bullet holes were so I can show them where it came in the night? Well, he actually turned around and sprayed. He, he killed a, de a deacon that was up there, wounded two people, and then the bullet holes over yeah, please. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is the bullet hole? Oh my gosh. That's where the bullet went through. This is a continuation. I'm going to show you guys. We're going to use the so we're in the Ebenezer Chapel. This is um, Martin Luther King's birth home church where he was raised in the church. So this is very, very powerful to be here right now. I never will forget that I went to the mass meeting that Monday night where was he first buried? He was first buried at Southview Cemetery, which is a, a traditionally an African-American cemetery here in town, although they accepted everybody yeah. at the time, unlike the white ones. Uh, he was buried there, but unfortunately his tomb was close to the road. And you had these people that had to shoot up his tombstone. The man's dead, you don't, I don't understand it. But Coretta did not want that to happen again, and nobody can blame her. So she moved him over here to the King Center. Okay. And uh, of course, he waited for her. And in 2006, they were united. <laughs> Thank you. 
Queen King Center. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Everyone is in good spirits. It's a very great vibe. I'm so happy I came out. Honestly, I definitely recommend you guys to come and check it out. It's very spiritual. It's very strong. It's just beautiful, honestly. Right now, I'm headed to the Martin Luther King Jr. Um, house that he lived in. Um, unfortunately, the house is closed down because someone tried to burn it down earlier this year. But we're still going to go and kind of just look at the house from the outside. <laughs> I'm out of breath, so I'll see y'all when I get there. was often the shortest one in the Bible. Jesus wept. Daddy King wanted to learn what his children had done during the day. Lively discussions took place during the meal. This was the time when the adults would correct the children's grammar and encourage them to speak properly. The children talked about happening at school and the adults talked about events at the church and the community and around the world. Everyone participated in the discussions. And so, even three children. This, this is the doctor, Martin Luther King, and Justice House. And so. It was around the dinner table that ML asked his parents no. why he could no longer play with his friend. When the boys started at the who lived in this house at one point? Yeah, this one, when the Kings lived next door, this one belonged to the Zachary family. Um, they owned a dry cleaning business in the neighborhood. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. about him from other people who work here who kind of 
even have family members who witness, you know, such a great historical time. So I really hope you guys enjoyed some of my highlights for Martha Luther King Jr. Day and definitely tune in for my next video. See you guys soon. Bye!